What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing Fezzendipity in the Regulation E format. You guys already know the deal, if you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But two things that I wanted to go over before we got started with today's team preview is one, dip point over here. So I'm not 100% sure, this is a rental code, I did not make this team, but again, I'm not 100% sure, but Evo Light Diplin does work. Considering it is supposed to get an evolution in the next DLC, I believe Evo Light does work on Diplin right now, so I could be wrong. Someone let me know in the comment section down below, but yeah, I, I'm I'm told that it does work right now. So Evo Light Diplin, don't come at me being like, Ayo Jeans, it doesn't work. This is not my team. I did not make it. I'm not sure if it does work. I just believe it does work from what I hear. And then secondly, we're going to go over Pheasantipity to get started here. Pheasantipity is a brand new Pokemon, and this Pokemon is here for speed control and stalling out. It's got the Icy Wind for speed control. It's got Tailwind for speed control, and it also has its brand new ability, the Toxic Chain. So whenever it hits a Pokemon with a move, it has a slight chance to actually land a Toxic on them. So by doing that, we can get some speed control. We can just constantly spam uh, Icy Wind to actually proc the Toxic Chain and then just roost up from there. So Pheasantipity is an absolute monster when it comes to regulation in format. But our first Pokemon we're going to go over is going to be Ninetales. Only one Ninetales to be exact with Snow Warning and a Light Clay as its item. It's got Blizzard, it's got Moonblast, and it has the powerful move Aurora Bell to set up screens in front of your squad. We got Heatran in our second slot, and Heatran in the last regulation was just such a solid Pokemon, and I really see it being such a solid Pokemon in this regulation as well. It has Flash Fire with Leftovers, Protect, Earth Power, Heat Wave, and Flash Cannon. In our third slot, we got the Wellspring Ogre Pond. Such a strong Pokemon, all the Ogre Ponds are really, really powerful. This one has Water Absorb with the Wellspring Mask, and then Ivy Cudgel, Horn Leech, Follow Me, and Spiky Shield. In our fourth slot is going to be Evo Light Diplin with the brand new ability Super Sweet Serum. And if you guys do not know what this ability does, whenever you hop into battle, it actually lowers the opposing team's evasiveness by one stage, making moves 10 times easier to actually land. This Pokemon has Serum Bomb, Pollen Puff, Infestation, and Recover. In our fifth slot is going to be the star of the show. It is going to be Pheasantipity with Toxic Chain and the Covert Cloak. It's got Icy Wind for Speed Control. Acid spray to land even more poisons, and then last but not least, it's got Tailwind and Roost. In our final slot, we're rocking out with Baxcalibur, and Baxcalibur is solid on its own, but paired up with Ninetales, it gets a nice lovely defense boost within the snow. There's Thermal Exchange, Loaded Dice, and then Scale Shot, Icicle Spear, High Horsepower, and Protect. Guys, you want to run the scene for yourself? Rent the code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that casual ladder, look to showcase Fezzendipity in the Regulation E format. First match is on its way, and we're going up against a Regulation E squad. They got Empoleon, they got Clefairy, they got Komo. -O. They're rocking out with Fire Ogre Pond, and then they got the powerful combo, which has been powerful since day one in DD and Arm Rouge. How should we play this one? How should we get added for, after it? We could lead Pheasantipity here, which is not a bad move. It speeds high. I love its defense stats. I like its HP. I think all around this thing is a beast. I love its EVs in it too. Speed, defense, HP. Lovely, lovely. So, you know what? I'm going to end up leading this Pokemon. Look to just get after it. So, I'm going to lead him, and I'm also going to lead... Do I lead the Diplin? Diplin's more of a back-end Pokemon, in my opinion. Good old Diplin. Good old Dips, dude. I love Diplin. He's so funny. He's so funny. Um, hmm, could go into Ninetales. I mean, Ninetales isn't bad, especially because we can set up a War Bell. And, you know what? Honestly, that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to set up a Roar Bell. We got full control of weather, and I really do like that. So I'm going to bring in them. I'm going to bring in Wellspring Ogre Pond. And then last but not least, do we go Dips? Do we go Dippy Dippy? I kind of want to, but then I kind of don't want to at the same time. But there's other Pokemon like Heatran or Vax Calibur that can give us a bit more offensive bulk. Hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I think I'm going to go Heatran here. It's got Flash Fire. It can really get after that Ogre Pond, so... I'm down with it. I'm definitely down with it. But Ogre Pond does learn Mole Breaker. It does learn Mole Breaker. So it can potentially still hit me with a fire move if it is rocking Mole Breaker. Because I know it either learns, I think, Defiant or Mold Breaker. And that can be a little bit of a problem. So we'll see who they want to lead. And it's going to be Clefairy and Komo. -O. The Cle Clefairy Komo -O comes out here. And this leads me to think that they're just going for a Follow Me and a Clangor Soul. They get all those stat boosts, right? It's probably third sprayed like the one that we showcased in the video. 
And we can go from there. We could go for an acid spray. Lowering special defense, which isn't bad. Which I might just do. Where do I just icy one? Lower speed. Yeah, I'm down to lower speed stat. So I'm going to lower speed stat. I'm going to set up an Aurora Veil. And we'll see what Como -O wants to do. Because I could just drop a Blizzard. So I'm thinking it might Terra Steel. Is potential. Right? Yeah. And he's going to Terra Slash. So. Terra type's going to come out here. It's going to go Solid Steel. Right? Yeah. Okay. Most Como O's is Steel. It's just the best Terra type for it. Considering it needs Dragon and Fighting. And four times weak to Fairy. So Steel is just money for it. So he ends up protecting from Fairy. That's totally fine. And Komo, oh, what are you doing? Are you attacking me? You could be attacking me. But I get off the Roar Bell with it, which is beautiful. The Roar Bell comes out here. I love the typing on Fezzendipity, too. And Icy Wind is going to fly. Can we land a Toxic onto, onto this guy? Can we Toxic Chain? That would be beautiful. Can we get that cooking? We got a crit. <laughs> wow, we got a crit with Icy Wind. And there's a speed drop. Did we get Toxic Chain? No, Toxic Chain, I think, I don't know the, the chances of it. We just slowly get after it. So he ends up going for the Clangor Soul. He gets all these stat boosts. And from here... I'm thinking of just spamming Icy Wind until we land some Toxics, right? Probably your best bet. Probably your best bet. I don't I don't think we get a Toxic on him, to be honest. He does have, uh, what's it called? He does have that typing on him. So from here, you know what? I'm just gonna go... Acid spray, and I'm just gonna spam blizzards. I might, I might dip, I might drop this dipity. Do I drop it? Maybe go into Heatran. Could have a fighting move, which is kind of scary, but we do have a Warville. You know, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna swap in Pheasant Dippity, and here I'm just gonna go for blizzards. Maybe look to get, grab a freeze or something. We do have a Warville, so we're gonna be a bit more bulky right now. Um, we could have a fighting move, but a lot of them don't rock fighting moves. Actually, yeah, I mean, it's usually dragon and steel move, right? Because by rocking a fighting move, it's like, it really it really limits you up against, like, uh, Flutter Means. So I end up going for a Blizzard. Flash Cannon is going to come out here. And is that going after, yeah, going after Night Cross, which is fine. I don't mind that Pokemon dying out. That Pokemon dies out here. I can rip Heat Waves now, which is great. And I can also go back into Pheasant just lower speed again. I think that's going to be my play, right? Just lower speed and just constantly spam Heat Wave? Probably my best, but do we Terra? Do we Terra Heatran? I don't think we do. I think we just, I think we just rip Heat Waves. We just drop Icy Wounds. Lower that speed. Gotta lower that speed. Because uh, Como O is neutral on speed right now because we only hit it with one Icy Wind. So if I hit it again, it will be minus one. And I believe Heatran can outspeed from there. So follow me is going to come out here. It doesn't matter. We're using double hitting moves. I'm dropping icy ones. Getting after it. Pheasant Dipty style. Can we get a poison on Clefairy? Do me something nice, right? <clears throat> Come on, poison the fairy. We don't. Heat wave comes out of here. Who's dodging? It's Clefairy dodging. Okay, cool. Cool. Clefairy dodging. And Como is able to survive that. We get a burn on it though, which is pretty nice. And I wonder what he's going for. Another flash cannon's coming out of here. Another flash cannon's going after you. That's looking a little scary because we're gonna be able to soak, but still that's some nice damage. That is some noise damage. So from here, I'm just going to drop another Heat Wave. And I'm just going to Roost up here. I'm going to look to get back some HP. I know I'm the fastest on the field. I can Roost. I can get back a ton of HP. And if Heatran can just land another Heat Wave, that can be really big for us. So Vezendipity is such a cool Pokemon. Able to bulk up a lot of shots. And in situations like this, we can easily just Roost back up. But we haven't gotten a Toxic yet, which is kind of annoying me. Really want to get a Toxic. But it's a good thing they didn't make this ability like super OP. So he ends up withdrawing Como, and he's gonna go into Ogre Pond here. The so Ogre Pond comes out here. Ogre Pond is going to still take some damage from this fire move. And Clefairy is, is just gonna protect. So I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Roost comes out here, and I wonder if Vezendipity can outspeed. Because if I can, I can simply just pop a Tailwind, and that could be lovely. So Heat Wave comes out here, and the good part about this is that uh, Ogre Pond cannot Terrastalize. So from here, I think I might just Flash Cannon you. Do I Terra Grass? No, I'm not going to Terra Grass. I'm just going to Icy Wind. I'm just going to keep spamming some Icy Winds. I could go for Tailwind, but I, I like where we're sitting. I like where we're sitting. So Ivy Cudgel is going to come out here. He does have Mold Breaker, which is fine. 
He hits through my flash fire. Well, Icy Wind's gonna get cooking. Right, Icy Wind looking for some poisons. Can I get the toxic chain rolling? Resident Dippy's striving though. Got the speed drops. No toxic chain coming out here. It really sucks. Flash cannons finishing off the support of the fairy. And we'll get going from there. It's so annoying. Like, we cannot get these toxic chains. We cannot get these toxic chains. We simply cannot. So, Aurora Bell is going to end, I believe. Or do we have one more turn in it? We might have... Oh, no. We have a few more. We're likely. And then Didi's going to fly out. So, we're doing fine here. I'm just looking to land some toxics. Right? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of just looking to land some toxics. So, we have Aurora Bell for a couple more turns. Special defense boost added. And Didi is going to come here. And we have Wellspring Ogre Pond in the back end still, which is great. But from here, I just think this is a simple... Just rip into you with that, and then just constantly spam this Icy Wind. Or I can just go for Acid Spray, to be honest. And I think I am going to Acid Spray, because I do outspeed here. So I can lower Special Defense and potentially kill with the Heat, which could be nice. So he goes for the Helping Hand. Acid Spray is going to come out here. Super effective. Lowering that Special Defense. Should make our Heat Train be able to KO. And he's going to go for the Ivy Cudge over here. Looking a little scary. And we're able to soak that, which is beautiful. Beautiful. Heat wave now flies here. It's gonna KO the Ogre Pond, which is massive. And they're gonna be forced to throw back out Cone. That's the thing with Pheasant Dippity. Pheasant Dippity is a what's it called? It's a bulky Pokemon. It's it's looking to stall out and it's looking to get a lot of work done. So what I think is gonna happen here is Komo is gonna come out here. He's gonna try to get after me with a steel move. And I can honestly just do this heat wave and thrash slice and roost up again. Just so I don't take a lot of damage coming in from a flash cat. So now it's gonna be time we terrestrialize. And like I said, Vesendivity is a problem. It's such a problem. Our opponent's having such a tough time to kill us. Plus, we haven't la even landed a toxic yet. Which makes it even worse. Like this Pokemon is even stronger than what it is right now. The so Komo is just gonna protect. That's fine. I'm roosting. I'm doing a little bit of roost action. Getting off some HP back. Yeah, Fessing Dippity is a real problem. It's so good. It really is. Heat Wave's gonna fly here. Um, and I'm thinking of just. I'm thinking of just Acid Spraying and DD at this point, right? I mean, Psy Shot comes out here. We're gonna be able to soak that, which is good. So, good tower type from us. From here, I could Roost again, but I'm thinking of just Icy Winning, right? Because Burn's gonna put Komo O's down to like 1 HP, right? I don't know if we can KO him with Icy Wind. That's kind of close, but the speed drop's going to be big, so might as well, right? Might as well. So Fasendipity out on this field the whole battle. The whole battle. And we got this one pretty much locked up, right? Icy Wind comes out here. Is he going to KO? It does not. It, it does like one damage, but it does get the speed drop, allowing Heat Train to probably outspeed, right? Yeah, and then double Heat Wave's going to come in here. Finish off Como, oh, and indeed he's just low HP. We still have Wellspring over upon the back end, and this is pretty much how Pheasant Dippity is going to play in regulation E, right? It's just going to be a bulky Pokemon. It's going to be able to outstall a lot of different things. It's going to be able to heal up. It's fast too, which is great. So most of the time, you can roost before your opponent even takes a shot at you. And his typing is so perfect up against very strong Pokemon, like Shen Pao and all that good stuff. So I really do like this guy. But from here, Flash Cannon is going to fly. I'm just going to Acid Spray on top of that to lower the special defense. And that's going to be game. Our opponent should just cancel the match. If not, it's over. Yeah, battle was canceled. We're 1-0. Fezendipity killing it in match number one. Second match is on its way. And we are going up against a Sinistra and a Hearth Flame Mask Ogre Pond team. Alongside with Iron Bundle, who is always a problem. Very fast Pokemon. Hits really, really hard. And then they got Landorus, Fake Out with the Iron Hands, and Photograph to Pop Trick him. How should I play this one? I really like Pheasantipity here. Pheasantipity is going to be great. So I'm going to end up bleeding it, especially up against Iron Hands if he wants to fake me out. We can really get after it that way. And I'm thinking of going for the same lead, potentially popping an Aurora Veil. They don't have any way of changing weather, so getting an Aurora Veil set up is going to be perfect for us. So I'm going to end up going into Ninetales. So Ninetales, Pheasantipity, great lead, really, really solid. In the back end, going to definitely bring Wellspring Ogre Pond. Love this Pokemon a lot. And last but not least, to be killed, Heatran. Or do we go back to Calibur? Or we could go Diplin here, but mm, I don't know if I like Diplin. I don't know if I like the dips. Back to Calibur's not bad. He can get some work done. Heatran's pretty good here as well. Hmm. 
Mm -mm 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 -mm. What do I want to do? No, I'm gonna go back scalp. I do. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm gonna go back scalp here. I think I like back scalp just a tad bit better. Just a tad bit better. Yeah, especially because we use the same exact squad in the first match. I don't want to use bring Heatran and bring the same exact squad in the second match. But I really want to get out Diplin here because I like that Pokemon actually a lot. But it's very situational. It definitely is very situational. But I'm leading the Pheasant Dippy. I'm leading the Ninetales. I really do like this lead a lot. I think it works out perfectly. And if I get off a War Bell, especially up against a team that has no weather control, we can really get the right one. The Lando comes out here. Um... And Frigga Ramp also comes out here. So I'm going to set up this Aurora Veil. And do I just start lowering special defense? Maybe, potentially, right? He might even swap the Lando here. He might even swap the Lando. So instead of going for an Icy one, I'm going to lower Frigga Ramp's special defense. And I'm just going to set up an Aurora Veil. Just so next turn I can I can rip Blizzards. Because Lando, like, seeing an Ice-type Pokemon on the field with Lando, it's like, it's heartbreaking. You're like, dude, I cannot even get touched by an Ice move. I die to it pretty much instantly, right? So he's either going to Thrasilize, Protect, or Swap, right? You got three options. You got three options. And he's going to end up Thrasilize, which is totally fine. A lot of them are just straight flying, which I, I don't mind. I should still be able to outspeed unless he's Choice Scarf. And this one's actually Rock. Good thing my Pheasant Dippity is not flying, right? <laughs> Good thing it's not flying. Right? Let's see what he ends up doing. We get off the War Bell, which is just a beautiful sight to see with the Light Clay. And we'll get Cooking from there. Acid Spray is going to fly here. So we're going to lower this thing's special defense, which is going to be pretty solid. And Toxic Chain is going to land. Let's go. Finally, we get some nice little Toxic Chain cooking. Get a little bit of Toxic Chain. Rock Slide is going to fly here. And can you survive this, Nine Tails? You got the Veil. Oh, yeah. You eat that up all day. You eat that up all day. And Psychic going to double down into me. You should be able to soak that up. Okay, so you soak that up. Terror type might be nice for you now. So I'm actually am going to Terror type. And I'm just going to roost here. I'm just going to roost. And on top of that, I'm just going to jump a blizzard. I'm going to terrestrialize into straight grass. I'm not trying to worry about the second move KO me. And I'm going to look to just roost up. So Farigraf is toxic right now, which is pretty solid. It's going to keep constantly losing HP. But blizzard should be able to do a nice chunk of damage to it, considering it is minus two on special defense. And hopefully we get a freeze on the Lando. That'd be beautiful. We don't. But Roost comes out here. And we get back some HP. Lovely. Lovely. 142. Rock Slide's gonna land again. Rock Slide's kind of annoying. And Nightail's able to soak, which is beautiful. It's beautiful. Because I think a Psychic is actually... No, it's gonna be Hyper Voice. Comes after me. I'm able to survive. So now with all of this... What is my play? What is my play? Because I might not even Roost here. I might not even roost. I think I just bring out Wellspring Ogre Pond. I think I just bring out Wellspring Ogre Pond and I just get after this Lando. Right? Makes the most sense. I don't have the Terra for the mass, but I think we're fine. I think if we just Icy Wind, and we just go for an Ivy Cudgel or, or even a Horn Leech at this point, we'll be fine. What I'd rather go for. What Pokemon do you have? Let me see what they got in the back end. Just in case they want to swap. I think the water move is the best bet, right? Yeah. So we're just going to go for an Ivy Cudgel here. Go after Lando. And he's just going to withdraw it. Maybe I should have went for the Horn Leech. There might be a swap into the Iron Bundle. That's going to be Sinistra. I mean, that's fine. That is totally fine. So Hos oh, Hospitality comes out here, which is kind of cool. Really do like that. And Frograph ends up protecting, so that works out perfectly because we are icy winning here as well. So I can definitely just roost next turn and get after it. And maybe, just maybe, just maybe we pick off another toxic chain here, which would be awesome. Especially on a Sinistra, that'd be beautiful. Give it to me, yo, give it to me. Pop that toxic chain. Now we don't get it. Ivy Cuts are coming out here. Bop, still doing a decent amount of damage. And the berries gonna proc here. So from here, what I'm thinking is just another roost. Just to get some HP back and let Toxic just kind of do its thing, right? But yeah, definitely want to roost. Definitely want to roost. And I'm just going to spike shield potentially here. Because again, I just want Toxic to do its job. I actually do have follow me, which is kind of cool. But I'm just going to keep chipping up damage on Sinistra. I think that's my play. 
and Sinisha ends up protecting. Okay. That's fine. That's why Pheasant Dippity gets some more HP back, which is beautiful. And a Trick Room might even be popping here. Trick Room could definitely be popping here. And I think that's going to be the play. Big time Trick Room coming out from Farigi. that it? Yeah, there's the Trick Room. Uh-oh. Really hate the Trick Room. The Toxic is getting after it. Um, I'm thinking of just Icy winning this turn. Or I can actually just Acid Spray would be better. Probably just going for maybe like a Spiky Shield here. You know what? Ivy Cudgel is probably a bit better. So what's Sinister's going for? Maybe just like a Follow Me or something? Macha Gacha is going to come here. So he's going to Macha Gacha. I think that move is so funny the way it, the way they, uh, the animation is. I really do. So he gets back a little bit of HP from the Macha Gacha. No big deal. And you get a burn. Oh my lord. Of course you get a burn with the Macha Gacha. Of course you get a burn. Hyper Voice is going to fly here. Just chunking up some damage. Ivy Cudgel coming out here. Wabam. Doing about 5 damage now that we're burned. And that really sucks. We might just be better off going for... Uh, we might be better off just going for what's it called. Just follow me's now. Might just be better off doing that. So Toxic's going to melt down a little bit. I think we go for Icy Winds. And we go for follow me's with... Uh, with my boy. I might roost here too. I don't know. Cause I am burned. Like, dude, that's just awful. Did I have Trick Room up? We got rid of the Frigoraph. Iron Hands is here to fake out. I do have Pheasant Dippity to actually go into. Probably roost this turn, to be honest with you. That would be a perfect turn to roost. See, so yeah, I'm just gonna roost and follow me. Because I do have the, uh, the Cobra Cloak, which is awesome. But yeah, this is a solid turn. A solid, solid turn for me to actually just go for follow me. And roost up. And he ends up going for a Macha Gacha. That's totally fine. And who's dodging that? I think that's my my mask Pokemon. I think it's my Ogre Pond. Yeah, so Ogre Pond dodges it. He's gonna get back a little bit of HP there. And what he does know is I'm Covert Cloak. Nice little roost coming out here. I'm going back up on the HP board. So we have a solid terror type with the grass. I like the grass typing. And I think we just follow me spam. And we kind of just go from there because we have you wasting out Trick Room. We're looking for more so just like Toxic Chain Lands, right? That's really what we're looking for. We're looking for Toxic Chain Lands. So Fast and Dippity is just still out bulking, which is huge. We're wasting out Trick Room turns. Um, we are slowing him down, which is, I mean, it's fine right now. And Ogre Pond is really not that useful, especially with the burn that the Machi Gacha ended up getting. Now comes another Machi Gacha, and we're hoping it's not going to burn Fest and Dippity, because that, be, that could be a little annoying. And that KO'd me? God dang! That KO'd my Ogre Pond there? That's wild. That is wild. That did some massive damage to that thing. I really want to Ogre Pond to soak up a shot here from Iron Hands. Now Wild Charge is flying in this slot, and we're still soaking pretty well. Icy Wind's gonna fly. Can we get some Toxic Change? Get a little bit of Toxic rolling? I'm kinda, kinda hoping you, right? I'm kinda hoping we get some Toxic Change cooking. Give me something. There we go. There we go. Can we get two? Two would be the best. Two would be beautiful. Oh my. Oh my. Look. Pheasant Dippity. Oh. Cooking. Double. Double up with the Toxics. It's just a lovely sight to see. It's a lovely sight to see. So we gotta see how many turns are left in Shrek. Because we've been wasting them. I believe you have Protect, don't you? Yeah, you do have Protect. That's beautiful. Because you can't really take a Drain Punch, right? Drain Punch is going to just maul on you. You might be able to. How many turns left in a War Bell? One and one. Okay, so we might as well just Protect here. We might as well Roost for some HP. We might as well Protect. So we can waste out Trick We can waste out a War Bell. We got Toxic spread out on the field. So it's going to be a constant stream of damage that gets bigger and bigger each time. Shadow Ball is going to come out here and... Hopefully he's going for Drain Punch here into Baxcalibur. Yep, cool. So we protect the last turn of Trick Room, and I'm going to be able to roost back up with Fez and Dipty, which is massive. <laughs> this thing is insane. Absolute nonsense this thing is. The like, Toxic chipping up. We love it. We love it. We love it. And Iron Hand's going to take a handful of damage here. The Roar Veil's gone. We know Baxcalibur probably dies out to a Drain Punch. Which is looking a little scary. And I think from here we just Icy Wind and on top of that, we just go high horsepower. 
Yeah, we'd like to get off as much damage as we can on this thing. The Sinister is going to protect. He's going to Drain Punch. He is going to get back HP. And I don't mind Sinister protecting here. I really don't. I really don't. Because Sinister probably could have popped another trick in here, which could have done him really good. Definitely could have did him really good. The High Horse Power is going to fly here. And we put him on one. We put him on legit one. We get a crit, and it's on one HP. So now he goes for a Drain Punch. And we actually survive that, which pretty much sets us up for victory. He's going to get back some HP. Nothing crazy. Toxic is just going to slowly chip away. And yo, Pheasant Dippity is... This thing's, oh, This is one of the strongest Pokemon I've used in Regulation E. It might be the best Pokemon in Regulation E. This thing is absurdly strong. It really is. But from here, I'm just going to pop a nice, lovely Icy Wind. And on top of that, we're just going to go for an Icicle Spear into this thing. And that's going to be game. Wouldn't be surprised to see him cancel. Oh, I forgot. You still have... You still have Lando. I totally forgot. You still have Lando. Oh, my lord. I totally forgot this guy still has Lando. AC one's going to fly. We are going to get a massive speed drop, which is good. And we KO Sinistra. And that, that pretty much wraps it up from there. I think he just wants to fake out again, right? I think he just wants to fake out. But even being minus one, Icicle Spears can come out here. And this might KO. We got the loaded dice, so it's hitting at least four times. And yeah, that's going to KO. That is going to KO. But yeah, that's game. That's game set match. So Iron Hand's going to come back out here. He can fake me out. He's going to fake out the max caliber slot. I'm not even going to protect it because fake out cannot kill me at the HP that I'm at right now. And Pheasant Dipty can just start unloading shots. I totally forgot about Lando. I totally forgot about that Pokemon. But still, it don't even matter. Pheasant Dipty's here. Now comes Iron Hands. That is totally fine. We'll just drop a nice little acid spray in that slot. And on top of that, nice little skill shot. And battle was canceled. 2-0, dude. Fez and Dippy, one of the strongest Pokemon I've used so far. Final match is coming at you guys. And what am I playing? Pokemon Sword and Shield? This is wild. They got Zacian, Regilecki, Kyogre, and Tornadus. Four Pokemon that, like, you've seen every single time when you're playing competitive in Sword and Shield. They're also rocking out with Arceus. And last but not least, they got Eternatus. So I believe we already showcased this team to their fullest potential. So we can have some fun with this one. If we lose, we lose. If we win, we win. It's no big deal. It really isn't a big deal. But I'm going to lead Fezendipity again just because this Pokemon is an absolute stud. This thing is an absolute stud. And I think I'm going to also bring in the boy right here. Dip. Dips. Dippy Dips. Dip Dog McGee over here. Like, I love this thing. And actually, you know what, dude? Aurora Bell's our friend. We're going to Aurora Bell again. We'll bring Diplin in the back end. And last but not least, we'll spring Ogre Pond. Gonna be rather solid here. So I'll go Will Spring Ogre Pond and we'll lock it in. We'll lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number three and go 3 0. But Fez and Dippity, or I should say leading Fez and Dippity alongside with Ninetales when going up against a team with no weather, it's insanely OP. Because you just set up that Aurora Bell with the Lake Clay, you get eight turns worth that, which is pretty much the whole match. It's almost a whole match, right? So having that Aurora Belt with the Toxic Chain ability, with Roosting, it's like Pheasant Dipty is so bulky at that point. It's just not losing. So he ends up going into Kyogre, which is terrifying. It is very scary. And no, you drizzle out? Drizzle out. How dare he drizzle out? Okay, so he drizzles out here. And ah, I'm going to just hard swap you. We're going to Dips. I gotta go into dips. I need my weather. I need my <laughs> weather. Actually, Ogre Pond could look pretty good, but it'd be like that. So I'm gonna go into dips here. Dippy dip, dippy dubbies. Shiny dippy dips with the gold. I think it's sick. I'm gonna lower the, these things evasiveness. So you lower the evasiveness here. And who's Terrasalizer? Don't be Kyogre Water. Or did I hit Terror on by accident? I Terror on accident. I was gonna say that looks like my person. I tarot on accident. That's that's uh, that's real ugly. So I tarot on accident, but it's gonna help us out from any water move coming in here. And they're probably going Terra Water. Oh. Hopefully they never bring Kyogre into this game, right? Cause that that would be absurd. Yeah, just Tailwind Water Spout. I'm gonna get absolutely mauled here. Yeah, like this this should not be a thing. It simply shouldn't. This <laughs> should not be a thing. So I'm able to soak, which is nice. Diplin's. Oh my god, Diplin. You are one bulky Pokemon. Why Diplin soak that that much? Can we get some Toxic cooking? 
Can we get some toxics on the field? Please and thank you. Please and thank you, little tox chain. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, we like that a lot. Can we get another one? Two for two? Nah, we only get one. So one's pretty solid. Um, I'm going to change weather and I'm going to swap Fez and Dippity here. So by changing weather, I could also set up an infestation or I can just start slowing down Kyogre. Hmm. I'm just going to Syrup Bomb. I'm going to slow this thing down. I do have Recover on this thing. And if we can win this match, that'd be absurd. Because these guys are so OP. I get back into Nine Tails and say, Yo, that's enough out of you. I'm changing the weather up. Liquid Storm's going to fly here. Diplin's taking a massive amount of damage there. And Water Spout's still flying. So Diplin's going to be able to soak that. I think Nine Tails should be able to soak that, which would be great time for us. And Nine Tails doesn't. Like, what is up with this? This thing's just absurd. Really, it's just absurd. And of course, I wasted my tower type on accident. But yo, this match is just for fun, ladies and gents. It, it's a, it's a whatever match. So Diplin's doing a huge chunk of damage here, slowing down the speed of Kyogre. And ch -ch 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 -bum. sticky syrups on. Him. So from here, I could go back into Pheasant Dippity. I could. I definitely could. I could just go into. Yogurt. I'm gonna go into uh, Well Spring Ogre Pond. I'm gonna Ogre Pond up. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to look to just go for an Ivy Cudgel here. Actually, you might outspeed. You might outspeed Kyogre at this point. Maybe you just want to get rid of Kyogre. And we'll try to recover here if we can. Maybe they'll miss a Bleak Windstorm or something. But I'm trying to figure out ways we could potentially win this match. Because if I can win this match, that'd be absurd. Of course he sets up a Rain Dance again. The Rain's back out here. Can you outspeed Ogre Pond? You don't. You end up going for an Ice Beam. We should be able to soak that, which is good. Okay, so we soak that. He's going to lose some HP. And we get rid of him. Cool. But finally, we get rid of him. Rain's back on the field, though. And I do recover, which is beautiful. So, my boy Diplin's going to get back some HP here, which is which is big time for us. It's big time. We still have Pheasant Dippy, but it's getting real ugly real quick, right? A lot of legendaries on the field. Trying to deal with it, especially like Kyogre. Kyogre Tornadus is one of, one of the strongest combos out there. Especially in this game, you just tear a water and he's doing an absurd amount of damage. So Diplin's back to 141 HP, which I like a lot. I'm scared of the Bleak Wind Storm. I'm absolutely terrified of him. And from here, he's going to bring out Zatsia, dude. <laughs> oh my lord. This Now this Pokemon. If you guys play Sword and Shield, you guys know this Pokemon. It's just absurdly strong. So from here... I don't think I can do anything. I think I lose this match 10 times out of 10. Uh, we are going to go for Spiky Shield here, though. I'll Spiky Shield, and I will Serap Bomb just to slow down Zatsia. But I, I don't I don't think we have a fighting chance here. I'm trying, I'm trying out here, people. I'm gonna try, but I, I don't I don't see us having a shot. Playoffs can come out here and dead. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. Alright, yeah, this match is wraps. We we showcased the team to his full potential already. It's all good. That we got that we got caught in a third and final battle with some dude using the strongest Pokemon, strongest Pokemons. <laughs> So, out goes the Tailwind, they're just going to set up another one. Fez and Dippy, you cannot outbulk these Pokemon. These Pokemon are too strong for you. Especially Zassian on field. <laughs> Nothing stopping that thing. But from here, I'm just going to simply hit the run button. We go 2-1 and one for today's video. You guys can count that one as a no contest if you guys want, but we lost that one. But Fez and Dippy, absolutely OP. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Fez and Dippy on the casual ladder. Insane. Hopefully that first two matches showcase how strong this Pokemon actually is and how much of a problem it's going to be when Regulation E comes out. Its typing is phenomenal, its ability is crazy strong, give it some good EVs and defense and HP, and you're pretty much set up. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.